Monday through Friday, we bring you the best of the best in education, let it be information, entertainment, and everything in between. It's channel 263 on your DSTV. If you're running an NPO, if you are an actor, a designer, you are a philanthropist, you are an artist that wants to share the stage and share your talent and let the masses know out there that you do exist, do not hesitate to email us, squeexa at capetowntv.org or call us on 021-448-0448. Follow us on Twitter, XA underscore live. Facebook is XA on Cape Town TV. www.capetowntv.org is where you find most of our programming with you right through to the hour of five. Like I said earlier on, Monday right through to Friday. Friday. We are hectic nine million times than any other show in the Monday. <laughs> My name is Lama Moon and he is our oh. here Dilaza Kalicha's finest. Stop saying that. I, I tried every stop. show to kill that line. It just stop. came out. Now I'm good though. Right now though in studio we are joined by an amazing DJ. We did our play, open up the show with yeah. the song, and she'll be telling us. Goboza, <laughs> my, actually my producer, speaking of that, my producer wanted to know what that means. Koposa. Uh -huh. So Koposa is basically a dance. Um, so the song was named after a dance. It was a nice festive uh, summer song going uh -huh. into summer when we released it. So it was basically inspired by a dance. How do you do a Koposa? How do you like do how it? you just did it. Like this? Koposa. <laughs> 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 Cape Town, don't say we never did anything for you guys. We just introduced a new dance move. Kaboza. <laughs> They're killing me. <laughs> We're in a DJ. So, yes. Tola, um, um, I understand that you went to Itashari, yeah. you did your studies there, you yeah. political sciences and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, and then you fell in love with music. music. How did that happen? Because we can't sleep on a Wednesday then. And then wake up. Like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> no, what happened? I What's think the music story? has just been always like an underlying factor in my life. Mm. Um, as many other people, you might dive into many different interests that you have in your life. You Perhaps you like TV, uh -huh. but you also like cooking. Sure. So it doesn't mean that you can't achieve everything just because you've got one main interest that you're doing at yeah. that particular time. So um, when I finished my studies, I went on to study another course in radio production and DJing. Mm. And thereafter, I started practicing commercially as a DJ. But to Mama Noba, how do they feel now that... Uh, I think I've just been very blessed to have such an amazing mother who's supportive as much as her her mindset is still like very old school yeah. and I'm expecting you to go uh, have a nine to five but she's just been very supportive of me um, and what I want to achieve and sure. my dreams so that's that's one thing I've just been very very lucky to have and I, I hope that I'll have the same experience uh -huh. when one day my son says mom Sister, yeah. actually you know what I, I want to be a tattoo artist mm. you know but I just think that like following your dreams is more important do you somehow in any way that the, the course that you studied do you apply it to your music yeah. or does it help you in any way I think that uh, um I was very strategic in choosing the course that I wanted to do. Uh -huh. I chose politics. Some, politics is something that shapes your life, yes, your yes, life, yes. my life. It's something that's going to be relevant today and even 30 years to come, 40 years to come. It's just something that's a part of our daily lives. Uh -huh. So I can't help but not put into practice what politics yes, is yes, yes, in yes. my daily life as well. Well, um, for success, you need to be prepared and then demand yeah. an opportunity. Yeah. Um, e opportunity, I call it Cotin, right? Yes. What's the story there? Um, so, Cotin is a family friend. I met him through my brother. Mm. And I think that's what makes our relationship so good that I'm able to, t to even talk to him about things that are personal um, and it makes our working relationship that much easier as well. Mm. So when he um, funded my studies as well and he mentored me and still is mentoring me, um, I was very, very fortunate to have him. Very, very. I understand that uh, you are a household name in KZN and some of the South Africans are actually familiar with your work. Yeah. Do you find it harder to break into? I understand the sound is different. Yeah. Um, I think that um, nowadays social media and other 
platforms have made it easier to to talk to somebody that's in Cape Town while you're still sitting on your couch in Durban, you know? So I think things like that have made um, things easier for you and I. So it's not as hard as it would have been perhaps like 10 years ago. So definitely things are progressing and it's still yet to even get better. Things couldn't have been that hard for you because no. on social media, <laughs> 178k of followers, really? Um, how has that um, helped um, shape your career? Yeah. Um, I think breaking into the industry wasn't as hard for mm. me. Um, I know a lot of artists find difficulty breaking into the industry, so I was very fortunate it wasn't as hard. Um, and I think just as you said, preparation is also as important. I couldn't break into the industry not knowing what I'm doing, not have learned mm. the theory part of it as well, because I think that's actually helped me so much that I went to school before I came into the industry and um, I didn't just say, hey, I'm here, sure. you know? So I think preparation as well, as much as it was easy for me, but there was a hard part that I went to. You've got to put in the work. You've got to put in the work. I also think that the team of people that you work with is also important. Yeah. Um, yeah. How did you choose the people that you worked with and who are they? I think um, instinct never lies. Mm. The minute you meet someone and you feel their energy, you can feed off their energy, you can feed off mine, you know we can work together. Mm. You know, let your instincts lead your way and you can't be wrong. Tell us about your music, who is it for, what does it say, what's the story um, behind it, um, who should follow it, who should listen? Yeah. Um, so the single that's playing in the background right now yeah. is, my <laughs> is my latest single, it's called Forever. Mm -hmm. um, I've featured um, a lady called Sky Wonder and I've also worked on it with Umon Dingobo, a musical genius oh, from K. OG, you know, OG. you know, OG. Um, so my music is something so full house that you can listen to at home, in the club, mm -hmm. you can listen to it with your family, you know, most music you can't listen to it with your family. Um, something soulful, I love playing for the ladies, I, I'm a lady, mm -hmm. so I love writing about love as well. Um, so it's a, it's a mellow sound, something sing-alongs, feel-good songs, yeah. going into summer right now. You know, you, you, you hear this. Who are your greatest <laughs> influences? Um, who do you look up to, Koma? Um, this one, they make sense and In I look industry. up to them. Yeah, I look up to them. Yeah. Uh, I need to be like them or perhaps suppress them because I can. Um, there are women in the industry that I, I look up to. Um, do I want to be them? No. Uh -huh. uh, but I do look up to them. Um, a lady called DJ LaSalle. Mm. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Um, I think she's so amazing. The way she's she's progressed mm -hmm. is just phenomenal. You can't not notice her. Um, but at the same time, I want to be myself in the industry. I want to find my niche. I want to find my space in the industry and excel in that. Sure. I want to be the best version of Stello rather mm. than the best version of someone Some, else. Okay, someone that's already yeah. existing. Yeah. Are you also involved uh, in production? Yeah. As far as making your music? Yeah. Oh, okay, I that's think that's amazing. like definitely yeah. important because I want to give the world what's in my heart, uh -huh. you know? You don't want to share somebody else's sound. I want you to hear oh. what Tello is. Yeah. yeah. I understand that uh, earlier you mentioned that uh, before you w came into the industry, yeah. you went in to study it, and then yeah. you also did some theory around it. Yeah. And I know you mentioned that there's a show I can't mention now that I've, I've seen it in, yeah. and you mentioned that you <laughs> having a lot of followers yeah. before the, all of this happened yeah. also played a role in actually people catching on. Yeah. And then I understand that your your son is also yeah. a celebrity in on, in on his right because he's yeah. uh, famous on the net. Yeah. Do you do you tell me how do you feel you monitor? Maybe not necessarily, okay, his, his son's success, yeah. also not losing. Yeah, it's or, it's yeah. quite it's quite tricky. I won't lie to you, it's quite tricky because um, I need to understand that I'm a brand on my own. Mm -hmm. I represent a certain brand and my son is a brand on his own mm -hmm. and he um, targets a certain market that's totally different from mm -hmm. me. Yeah. At the same time, I can't... Um, I can't damage his brand yes, yes, or yes. he can't damage my brand. So it, it's quite tricky, but finding the balance between the two is extremely important mm. because even the little things really, really matter. 
Fantastic. Somebody is sitting at home and they are afraid to dream because yeah. they they lack validation. They yeah. don't know that they're worthy. They don't know whether um, hey, Nandangi Pupayo, is it worthy? Mm. Is it worthwhile? What do you tell them? Because passion, hey. hey? Start now. Start now. Believe in your dreams as crazy as they may seem to the next person but every idea started as crazy yeah every every dream that was achieved oh. every goal that was achieved started as crazy to someone what's the mission and vision since you were talking about goals <laughs> and dreams um i never want to say that i want to see myself there in five years mm. because that's already setting a benchmark for myself sure. what if i can achieve that in two years mm. you know so i never want to say that but there's so many things that i want to achieve my ultimate goal is to just die empty mm. die knowing that i had done everything that i had wished to do if even if it means um you go oh Stella, but Stella was a dj just yesterday now mm -hmm. she's a fashion mogul yes i'm a dj and a fashion mogul yeah. you understand so i just i want to die empty knowing that i've done everything that was in my heart and i fulfilled everything that was in my heart where to from now Stella, the dj where do we catch her where mm. uh, oh, where how um, do we follow you so you can follow me on my social media twitter mm. and instagram um, that's where you'll see where i am gigs performances um, so on Twitter and Instagram, it's at underscore Sitelo. How are you shouting down Women's Month? Um, this weekend, I'm out in Durban. Um, Pavilion, Artisan, Eadini. So the whole weekend, I think I'll be in Durban the whole weekend. Well, Just <laughs> Oh man, thank you so much thank for you coming for through. You have so been much. such a beautiful conversation. I didn't even touch my cue card. <laughs> <laughs> the producer must not be impressed with me right now. <laughs> oh, I hope she's watching. <laughs> she is. Thank you so much. Make sure that you support local talent. Mm -hmm. You saw the music video. It's a girl. Right now, it's for us to head on to another talented lady. Lady, her uh -huh, name uh -huh. is DJ Zintle. Um, she's featuring Gutamara Day, correct? Yes, yeah, that's this her one colors. is titled Colors. Thank you so much. And you look beautiful. <laughs> Happy Women's Month. <laughs> Thank you yes. so much. I appreciate you making that.